The story of Tim and Tom, once upon a time, in a cozy little village, there lived two best friends named Tim and Tom. They loved to explore, play, and most of all, read books. One sunny afternoon, Tim and Tom decided to visit the village library. It was a magical place filled with books of all colors, shapes, and sizes. As they walked in, they were greeted by Mrs. Maple, the friendly librarian. Hello, Tim. Hello, Tom. What kind of adventure are you looking for today? She asked with a warm smile. Tim and Tom looked at each other excitedly and said, We want to read about dinosaurs. Mrs. Maple took them to a special section where all the dinosaur books were kept. There were books about big dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, dinosaurs with long necks, and dinosaurs with sharp teeth. Tim picked a book about a T-Rex, and Tom chose one about a Triceratops. They found a cozy corner with big, fluffy cushions and started reading. As they turned the pages, the pictures of the dinosaurs seemed to come alive. Tim imagined himself as a brave explorer, walking alongside a giant T-Rex. Tom imagined he was riding on the back of a friendly Triceratops, they learned that the T-Rex was one of the fiercest predators, with teeth as sharp as knives. They also discovered that the Triceratops had three big horns and a shield-like frill to protect itself from danger. Tim and Tom were so absorbed in their books that they didn't even notice the time passing. When they finally looked up, the sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the library. Mrs. Maple came over and said, Did you boys enjoy your dinosaur adventure? Tim and Tom nodded enthusiastically. Yes, Mrs. Maple. We learned so much. The T-Rex was really scary, and the Triceratops was so cool. That's wonderful to hear, Mrs. Maple said. Remember, every book is a door to a new adventure. Come back any time you want to explore more. With their hearts full of excitement and their heads full of new knowledge, Tim and Tom thanked Mrs. Maple and promised to return soon. As they walked home, they talked about all the different adventures they wanted to have next. And so, Tim and Tom discovered that reading books could take them on the most amazing adventures, all from the comfort of their little village library. They learned that books were not just stories on pages, but keys to unlock their imagination and curiosity. From that day on, Tim and Tom made it a point to visit the library every week, always eager to discover new worlds and make new friends, one book at a time. The next adventure of Tim and Tom, Tim and Tom couldn't stop talking about their dinosaur adventure. Every time they met, they'd share exciting facts they remembered from the books. One rainy day, they decided to visit the library again, curious to see what new adventures awaited them. As they walked in, Mrs. Maple greeted them with a twinkle in her eye. Hello, boys. Back for another adventure? Yes, they said in unison. We want to read about space. Mrs. Maple led them to the space section. The shelves were filled with books about stars, planets, rockets, and astronauts. Tim chose a book about the solar system, and Tom picked one about astronauts and space missions. They settled into their favorite corner with the fluffy cushions and began reading. Tim's book had colorful pictures of the sun, moon, and all the planets. He learned that the sun is a giant ball of hot gas that gives us light and warmth. He also discovered that Earth is the third planet from the sun and that it has just the right conditions for life. Tom's book was filled with amazing stories of astronauts who traveled to space. He read about how they trained, what they wore, and the rockets that took them to the moon and beyond. He was fascinated by the idea of floating in space and seeing Earth from so far away. As they read, their imaginations soared. Tim imagined himself as a space explorer, flying past planets and stars in a shiny spaceship. Tom imagined he was an astronaut, walking on the moon and looking back at the beautiful blue Earth. 
The rain outside made the library feel even cozier. The sound of raindrops on the windows was like a gentle background music to their space adventure. They were so engrossed in their books that they barely noticed when the rain stopped and the sun peeped out from behind the clouds, Mrs. Maple came over with a smile. How was your journey through space? Tim and Tom grinned from ear to ear. It was amazing. We learned so much about the planets and astronauts. That's wonderful. Mrs. Maple said. Remember, there are countless adventures waiting for you in these books. You can travel to any place or time. Real or imagined, with new knowledge and excitement, Tim and Tom thanked Mrs. Maple and promised to return soon. As they walked home, they talked about the different planets and wondered if they could ever become real astronauts. Tim said, I want to visit Mars and see if there's really any water there. Tom replied, I want to float in space and look at all the stars up close. Their hearts were full of curiosity, and their minds were buzzing with possibilities. They realized that reading books was like having a magic key that opened doors to endless adventures and knowledge. From that day on, Tim and Tom's friendship grew even stronger as they shared their dreams and discoveries. They knew that no matter where life took them, they could always find new adventures in the pages of a book. And so, they continued their weekly visits to the library, always eager to learn, explore, and dream.